welcome. We're here today to celebrate the centennial of the birth of Casio Kondo. Can Casio Kondo was a professor of applied mathematics at Tokyo University, Japan. He was born in January 1911 and died in December 2001. Casio Kondo is almost completely unknown, yet he is one of the most productive scientific people of all time. His published output is between four and five million words, and his output exceeds the entire lifetime output of uh, the likes of Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, and so on. Kondo, although unknown, was important enough at the time to be invited to be the chair and chief guest of the Albert Einstein centennial, which took place in Nagpur in India in 1980. Over a period of 50 years, uh, Kondo and his few colleagues wrote and published a voluminous series of papers and monographs on the applications of analytical geometry to a diverse range of subjects in the natural sciences. Inspired by Otto Fischer's attempt at a quaternion unified theory in the late 1950s, he adopted the mathematics of the revered Akitsu Kawaguchi to produce his own speculative unified theory. The theory appears to successfully apply Kawaguchi's mathematics to the full range of natural phenomena, from the structure of fundamental particles to the geometry of living beings. The theories are testable and falsifiable. The purpose of this presentation is to make his work more widely known. It's impossible to read all of Kondo's 12,000 pages, no matter how hard you try. However, when scanned reading his work, numerous interesting quotations come to light, which serve to give an insight into his thinking. All particles are spaces. All spaces are particle. Every living creature, human, plant or animal, is also a kind of higher order space. The most basic perception starts with fundamental information elements, which do not have individuality and can only be counted. The counted numbers can, cannot but be finite. The epistemological recognition or consciousness of human beings must primarily start with the extraction of Galois fields, and so on. Utterly, utterly incredible piece of work. Finally, I'd just like to thank a few people for their contributions to this uh, work. Firstly, I'd like to thank Tomoaki Kawaguchi of uh, Majiro University, Japan, uh, for sending a complete copy of Kondo's post Prague reports. I'd like to thank Jiro Kobayashi, also of Japan, uh, for photographs and biographic information. I'd like to thank uh, Professor Lakshmi Chandra Jain of uh, Jabalpur, India, a copy of this complete correspondence with uh, Professor Kondo. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and you can look up the works of uh, Kajiro Kondo on Cornell's uh, archive www.arxiv.org.